Mosby families are pinning their hopes on the criminal justice system to bring out the truth on who is behind the murder of Tsekhofato Pule. The Pule, Malepane and Shoba families will be watching closely as Shoba, the alleged mastermind, will be tried in court. Linda Misi has been tracking that story. He joins us now live for what to expect today and over the next few days. And that's really an important point this morning, uh, Linda. So many families have lost so much uh, in the murder of Tsekhofato Pule. Indeed, uh, Michelle, I mean, it's not only the Pule family here, but also the Malipane family as well as the Shoba family. You'll remember just earlier, just after uh, Muzugaise was arrested, we had an opportunity to speak to those who were close to him, giving us a sense of who this man, who is behind the murder of Tsukhofato Pule, well, confessed to the murder of Tsukhofato Pule is, and how his upbringing was. And many of them really couldn't make sense of how someone who grew up well off could be behind a murder just for 70,000 rands. It did not make sense to them. And they really wanted to find out how it could be that he could have agreed to take down Tsukhofato Pule. And, and many of them kept on saying, Michel, we, we don't know him as that person who would kill a pregnant woman because he himself has children. He's never been the type of person to kill. Right, so that particular family will also be looking at that uh, case very closely. The Pula family have been in the media space really calling for justice. This was a tragic loss for them. They were really anticipating to be welcoming a new life. Think about it. The baby would have been over a year old by now, but their lives, obviously, that wouldn't be. Tsukhfato Pula's life was cut short, but also the then the family of Ntutuga Shaba who refused to participate in media interviews or even be seen on camera. Now they are looking to the criminal justice system to perhaps exonerate Ntutuga Shaba of these crimes because if you listen to the defense, they've been saying that Ntutuga Shaba had nothing to do with the murder of Tsekhofato Opule. So we're sitting here, Michelle, with three families who are really pinning their hopes on the criminal justice system, but it is, of course, the court's interest to bring out justice in this particular matter. Uh, Linda, 16 witnesses to be called by the state as it uh, gets underway in court today. Yeah, and you'll remember the investigations into this case. I mean, a lot of the people were quite, uh, you know, did not have much our confidence in the state's ability to find the people that uh, were behind this particular murder. But we saw the arrest swiftly, just after, a few days after Tsukhofato Pule's body was uh, discovered. So the state has indeed uh, brought together about 16 witnesses that include Muzugaisa Malifani, who's key and central uh, to this matter. He is the guy that's serving a 20-year jail term for executing what he says was an order from Ntutugo Shoba, the father of the baby. We know his friends are also part of that witness list. We have some of the people that were close to Tsekhofato Pule also being uh, state witnesses in this matter. Police who may have gathered in evidence in this particular case will form part of the state's witness list. We don't know yet what the defense has in store in terms of countering the evidence that the state has. You'll remember a lot is at stake, but also central is Muzugaise Malefani's testimony. There are cell phone records that link him uh, to Ntutugo Shoba. There, are, there is CCTV footage that needs to be taken into account. And of course, the statements that have been made under oath. You'll remember in the lower court, the magistrate's court, uh, the prosecutor there, Baseka Demeki, warning Ntutugo Shoba not to reveal much as that can be used against him in this very same court. So we'll get to then see how that will play in his favor or against him when the trial starts. Linda Misi, thanks very much indeed for that update.